there, John Shell, Corvette Power Top Service, uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. It's uh, December 2018, and uh, we've got a new Power Top unit that we've come out for the Restro mods, and uh, also this can be used in your vintage Corvette. Uh, it will operate the convertible top, but it will not uh, operate the deck lid. Okay, but. Our little seminar today is on how do we bleed a Corvette power top system, okay? Uh, I know there's other instructions out there. Uh, I've read a few of them, but I'll just show you the way that I do it. Uh, this may be the only one on uh, YouTube video, not sure, okay? But what we've got here, I've got, I've got my wiring hooked up here to the motor, and we've got a ground wire here coming over to my battery here. And then I've got the uh, toggle switch, which, which would be used on a 58 to 62 Corvette. One thing I want to stress before we even get into bleeding this is some of the fellas that have put the power top units in their car, for some reason they think they can get an adjustment by, by these uh, screwing these out so far or screwing them in so far. No, what I want this done on these cylinders, this needs to be screwed in all the way, okay? Uh, no adjustment here at all. Uh, this will all equalize out when you get your power top working. So I wanna stress that, that this stays in all the way. And also on your deck lid sonar, on your, on your original unit, this is screwed in all the way. You, did, you get no adjustment by screwing this out or anything. This is screwed in all the way on your shaft. This is your deck lid cylinder on your original unit. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna run this motor back and forth and we will see about how many times it takes to uh, bleed this system. The, the motor is full of fluid, automatic transmission fluid. The cylinders are empty, no fluid. The hoses have no fluid in them. Uh, we have a a hose here. I, I, I made a, I get these at Menards. And this is a plastic uh, nipple here that I use that I thread into the back of the motor. Uh, if you buy one of these, uh, it's a, it's a uh, PL216. This thread right here does not fit this end. What I have to do is I have to take a, uh, a die and I have to cut this to the right thread. Uh, that thread is uh, it's a, a 3 8 20. Okay, it's a 3 8 20. That's, that's what this thread is on the end of the cap. So this has to be cut down and then I can screw it in. I can put my plastic hose on there to see what this fluid is doing. And we're going to see this fluid draw and we're gonna see this fluid come back in and burp the air out of this system. So we'll get started here, and uh, Chris is gonna get back. My son videos this, and thankful for him to come up doing this. This is to help you with your project, okay? So I'm going to run these uh, cylinders. You're gonna see some air first popping these cylinders up, but uh, we'll go from there. Notice that it had drawn fluid. Now we got another cylinder going up. Once it goes to the top, okay, we're gonna stop. Now we're gonna come back down and you're gonna see this burp right here. We're drawing fluid again. And I usually leave it set five, five, ten seconds between burps. That way, if any air's got to come out, uh, it will, uh, you know, uh, come on out of there. So let's go back up now. I'm looking for any leaks. I do not see any leaks. Now we're burping. Okay, so we're back at the top again. 
We'll see how many cycles this takes. I've never really counted them. Looks like we're getting there. There she burped again. Okay. Now with your original power top unit, uh, you will have a deck lid that also needs to be uh, bled. And uh, after we get done with this, I'll, I'll give you some ideas on how to uh, do the uh, deck lid cylinder. Okay, here we are. We've noticed that the line now is uh, empty again. And now we're gonna go back up. See how she draws fluid. There she burped again, so we've still got air in the system. You can kind of tell when the air starts to get out of it too, the motor sounds different. So that's three times. Still burping. She's not drawing any more fluid right now. That's four times, and now she's pretty well much bled, I think. We'll do her one more time. There's she sucking some more fluid. Notice we didn't get a burp that time. So I think we're pretty well bled. That's uh, five times. So with your original power top unit, uh, it may, five, may take five, six, seven times, okay? Uh, what I wanna do also in this, since we have this system bled now, and these hoses now are going to have to be taken off the cylinder to be fed down through where your uh, convertible top bracket is. Uh, we're gonna stop the video and we're gonna go over there and take a shot of that so I can show you how those hoses fit down in there. But to do that, they've got to be unhooked from the sonar, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so. so what we would do is as we would put this unit in the car, you can see that this is an original unit. I've been testing this uh, to uh, check the, the solenoid valves to make sure that they're operating properly. But the cylinders and the hoses would be laying back here. And uh, so I would have a towel here with my cylinder, of course, and uh, as you can see, the hoses are feeding up through this hole. And it's uh, on, on the cars that came from the factory, this hole is three and a fourth inches big. You can't quite get the cylinder through there with the hoses. You can get halfway through there and you gotta cock it. So if you want to, you can take the hoses off back here and then Another segment of this video, I'm going to show you how to uncap them and uh, keep from making a mess out of all the fluid. But okay, so we'll, we'll have our, our uh, cylinder here and we'll be taking the hoses off, feeding them up through this hole, and then we're going to come over here and this is exactly how they are to be fed down through the body and that bracket to the cylinder, okay? You can see the cylinder down in there and the ports are facing towards the outside of the car, okay? So Chris is gonna get a good shot there of how those hoses are feeding down. We do not want them to come around this way and get in the way of all this uh, uh, convertible top frame. And as you can see, we've got them fed up along the body here 
you know, they're clipped. Uh, take a look at the other side there, Chris. You can see those hoses uh, out of the way. So when the convertible top comes down, they're not laying down in this well to uh, take up more room. So, okay, we're going to get back to the bench over there, and we're going to uncap that uh, cylinder there. So we're back to the workbench here. Uh, we've had the system bled. We got, we got the cylinders are filled with fuel, fluid. Uh, the motor is filled with fluid. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to uncap these hoses uh, to, to, so they can be fit through the body of the car. So we're going to take our half-inch wrench here, and, and we're going to unscrew it. And I'm immediately going to tip this up like this and put the cap on it. Put the cap on it. And then I'm going to take the other threaded uh, part and put it down in there, keeping, there's a uh, rubber O-ring in there, and we're, gonna, we're going to uh, not lose that, keep that in there. So that's one of the hoses. And uh, then we'll come to uh, this other one. Let me get another uh, cap here and uh, get it unscrewed. And now we're going to do the other one here. Uh, get get it uh, loosened up. Tip that ho hose up like that. And uh, I'm going to put my cap on it. And I'm going to put the fitting on there with that rubber O-ring down in there and just snug it up a little bit. Now, one thing. If we do get a little seepage, which you can see that I got a little seepage there, these units will re-bleed themselves. It's not like a brake system to where if you get a little air in the line, okay, the pedal's going to be spongy. No, this is going to re-bleed itself. So now we're, we're going to do one side at a time. We're going to stick the hoses through the body, feed them down through where the convertible top bracket is, and then we will hook them back up to the cylinder inside the car. Now, one thing that I want to do is with the original power top system we're going to have to uh, bleed also the uh, deck lid cylinder. So what I would recommend in this operation is to have your deck lid cylinder hooked up to your deck lid so it can move up and down because it will need to cancel these switches in the trunk divider to get your convertible top cylinders to move, okay? This must be canceled. These switches must be canceled to get the convertible top cylinders to move. So what I would do, again, I repeat, is have your deck lid cylinder hooked up to your deck lid, have this switch assembly, so it operates, have your switches uh, set right to where when the deck lid comes up, it will cancel those switches and then your convertible top cylinders will move. And you can move them back and forth and move them back and forth. Then once you want the deck lid to go back down, we have this switch assembly beside the passenger seat. And for that deck lid to go back down, this switch must be canceled right here, the bottom one. And you can do that by hand. So, we'll go back over the operation again. We're going to have the deck lid going up, canceling these two switches here, which makes your convertible top cylinders start to move. I would not recommend hooking up your convertible top cylinders to your convertible top. Do not hook them up. Once we get the cylinders moving for the convertible top, you can run them back and forth, run them back and forth three or four times. Then you can manually hit your bottom switch, which will make your deck lid start to move down and back up and down and back up. The rule of thumb is this switch assembly here tells the deck lid what to do. This switch assembly here tells the convertible top what to do. So uh, having these hooked up and, and wired and everything 
is uh, something that you'll want to do to uh, bleed the convertible top system on all your original parts. So this concludes this seminar. I hope this helps you. Uh, again, we have this new system out. Uh, one thing I don't want to forget is these motors get very hot. They take a lot of amperage. Same with on your original power top solenoids. They get very hot. I would run them three or four times and then let them cool off for about a half an hour. I think that's the best. They, you, you don't want to keep running it and running it and running it. Uh, the solenoids have copper wire in them. They have an insulation on them. And we don't want to get that so hot that we melt the copper wire or the insulation on the copper wire. So I hope this helps you. Remember, Corvette Power Top Service. John Shell, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Subscribe to my YouTube videos. Uh, it's CorvettePowerTopService.com. That's my website. We're, we're just building this website right now. CorvettePowerTopService.com. I've got about seven, eight videos on there. I'm gonna continue to put videos on there. Any questions, I'm retired. I can answer your questions, hopefully. Uh, so thank you again, and until the next time.